Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gersh One, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today we continue talking about the Inquisition as we get into the Inquisitorial Seeker. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We post Warhammer 40K content every single day. And of course, if you have any suggestions, just comment down below. But with that said, let's get into 40 Facts on the Inquisitorial Seeker. The Inquisitorial Definition of a Seeker is that of a skilled hunter, an investigator, obsessed with the pursuit of their prey. They sift through the secrets of the Imperium, seeing what others do not, and using it to flush out their quarry before closing in for the kill. An acolyte that treads the path of the Seeker is driven by the hunt, relentless in his investigation, where others might choose easy violence or give up the pursuit. The Seeker sees signs and clues to the passage of the prey, whether it is an individual fleeing from Imperial justice or a secret hidden behind a web of lies. He can obsess over the unknown, never resting until a puzzle is solved or a chase completed. Sometimes the mystery or the manhunt can become more important to him than the actual eradication of a revealed heresy or capture of an escaped psyker, and he loses interest once he arrives at a solution or detains his prey. A seeker is a natural detective and an interrogator, ferreting out the truth wherever it might hide among the Byzantine power structure of the Imperium and its labyrinth of cities and societies, where others might find dead ends and false leads. The Seeker uses his perceptive senses and keen insight to discover vital clues, decipher plots, and resolve mysteries. It is this attention and the obsession with detail which defines the Seeker, and whether or not he uses it to become a hunter or investigator, it continually haunts him, pushing him on to uncover the next truth, unravel the next lie, and catch the most elusive of prey. For an inquisitor to eliminate mankind's enemies, he must first find them. A seeker has a talent for the chase, which gives him an edge in his investigations. He can root out the truth behind the secret or uncover the hidden nature of things with skill. A seasoned hunter, he is adept at gauging the strength and weakness of his prey, learning how they think, how they operate, and how best to run them to the ground. In all manner of environments, from the spires of crumbling hive cities to the ancient orbital installations, there are few places, if any, his quarry can hide. It is in the nature of the seeker to adapt and evolve to counter the obstacles in his path, and in this function, he makes an excellent guide and scout, sensing the best means of crossing hazardous terrain or finding what the acolyte seeks in an alien environment. Often the seeker will lead his warband through these darkened places, the lives of his peers resting on his instinct and sense of his surroundings. The seeker is always aware of his surroundings. He is often the first to find foe and foil ambushes, spotting dangers where others see only their mundane surroundings, or making an intuitive leap about the nature of his prey and anticipating an attack. In the wild, this translates into the role of a hunter, tracker, and guide. While in urban sprawls, the seeker becomes a detective, investigator, and questor. As the Inquisition deals with investigating possible threats and tracking down wanted enemies, a seeker's thirst for the hunt and his knack for uncovering the truth make him a valued part in any Inquisitor's work. Many an Inquisitor have grown in influence and power due to the efforts of his seeker. It is this driving force that can be as much a boon as a curse for a seeker. And the same obsession that propels him forward can be the same one which keeps him investigating areas he is unprepared to face. In the darkness of the galaxy, there are uncounted horrors lurking between the stars, in the depths of cold, desolate worlds, and among ancient, forgotten ruins. Many of these lonely domains are places man was never meant to tread, hiding things which have lingered in suspension for eons long past and vanished from memory. Sensible citizens heed well the teachings of the Emperor and leave such places to the past, turning their minds from wondering what lies beyond the safety of their world. Not so for the Seeker. Once he has taken up a trail, he follows it to its conclusion, the dual nature of his gift, seeking out the truth but always leading him into danger. Those that survive such encounters can come to inquisitorial notice and join others with souls strong enough to face such threats. Once part of such a warband, he can be brought to bear against heresies, xeno infestations, and other dangers, but his search can drift from desired directions. No mystery is so simple as to end with a single resolution, and often the investigation of one heresy uncovers other threats to mankind. 
maintaining proper focus becomes essential, and his fellow acolytes may have to restrain a seeker from moving to a new mystery before their current operation is complete. Seekers rarely abide secrets, and as many acolytes have unsavory paths, a seeker can cause friction unless his natural tendencies are curbed. Where there are criminals, there are those tasked with catching them and bringing them to justice. Whether a seeker is a high world Hablock enforcer or the head huntsman of a feral world, he forms a key part of imperial society. Highborn seekers, though some in their social class might frown on their activities, can work their way into position of power, where they can best use their talents and indulge in their obsessions. As overseers and overlords of hive levels or even entire worlds, they can direct the enforcers under their command to root out enemies and maintain desired order. More baseborn seekers on these developed planets take a more frontline position and walk the habways of conduct investigation, moving among the people as enforcers. In these instances and more, a seeker who excels at his job may gain the personal interest of an inquisitor. This could be by displaying a near unnatural sense about an investigation, whether his peers have come up short or because of a powerful knowledge and understanding of the criminal mind that no institution can teach. Seekers on more sparsely populated areas, such as feral planets or void installations, have fewer resources to call upon and must make do with whatever their environment has to offer. This makes them hardy and resourceful, often calling on superior knowledge of hostile environments to entrap or bring down their prey. These kinds of seekers are also often adept at survival, having to live for long periods away from any comfort while hunting prey along their world's fringes. Others have acted as explorers, serving in rogue trader vessels or Mechanicum Explorator fleets often barely escaping their own lives after uncovering secrets of which their masters were ill-prepared. Some acted as scouts in the Imperial Guard or witch trackers in the Adeptus Astrotelepathica. In all cases, they act as seekers, ceaselessly investigating, searching, and tracking their target, never stopping until their prey is brought down. And those were 40 facts on the Inquisitorial Seeker. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to share it with your friends. Whenever I think of a seeker, uh, I think of the uh, little wizard man from the video game Spyro the Dragon. Uh, it was a PlayStation game that came out uh, for the first PlayStation, um, PlayStation 1. And um, you played a little baby purple dragon and you were supposed to save the adult dragons because they were turned into crystals or stone. No, crystals, I think. Um, and each level, you had to chase or you got the opportunity to chase this little small wizard thing that would laugh at you. Like it would whistle and then laugh at you and you were supposed to hit them, hit him uh, with your head and he would give you an egg once you captured him. You'd, you'd kill the wizard, or the wizard would, would escape, and then you would collect the egg. And it wasn't like a something that you had to do. It wasn't a necessity, but it would um, let you, I think, level up or, or give you some coins or, or something or another. I can't remember. But whenever I say Seeker, that's what I think. I think of, of Spyro the Dragon. Why I'm telling you guys this, I don't know. I heard that they were going to remaster the game. And if they do, or if they already did, awesome. Um... Yeah, I remember that. Now, this is from the Dark Heresy um, game, the actual role-playing game. Uh, so, of course, having a Seeker um, has its benefits within that game. You don't see it within um, regular 40k on the tabletop, or even in the lore. Um, I know in the, maybe in the Inquisitor um, Martyr video game, it might have some type of... Uh, Acolyte that gives you a bonus or something, but in the actual Dark Heresy game, um, you know, you just you play as a the, the characteristic of a seeker, and then you gain certain bonuses, uh, kind of like um, Kill Team, where you can play a Kill Team and you can have a speciality, um, and you can be like a, a veteran, a leader, um, demolition guy, uh, which I really like. Uh, I really hope that they expand on the. Um, the bonuses that you get, the, they're good bonuses, and the campaign is pretty, pretty well thought out. But I know that um, once you play one campaign, the next campaign is just going to be kind of like a, um, 
I don't know, they're not, they're, they don't give you enough for each um, special uh, personality within Kill Team. If you guys haven't played Kill Team, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Uh, again, if you guys have any suggestions for other topics of Warhammer 40k that you guys would like us to cover, just don't forget to comment down below. Um, thanks for everything, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying all the, the daily posts. Thanks to our patrons. It's a simple dollar a month, less than you spend probably on a paintbrush, less than you spent on paint at GW. Uh, so it's a dollar a month, and it helps us create more videos for you guys. So if you enjoy our work, uh, jump on over there. Link is down in the description. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. This was Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate signing out. <laughs>